everyone, it's Jackie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to get this Donald Trump inspired pumpkin. I really wanted to do a kind of scary pumpkin design, so I thought, what's scarier than Donald Trump? <laughs> so if you want to learn how I did this design, just keep on watching. First, you're going to want to start off with one clean pumpkin and a rough sketch of what you want Donald to look like. I chose an angry duck face typeface. Next, I'm going to be taking some white and orange acrylic paint, mixing it together to form this peachy shade and applying it straight to my pumpkin. Don't worry too much about precision. You're going to want to work fast as acrylic paint is quick to dry and you want it to be wet when you add the other colors to make it easier to blend. For Donald's face, I kind of did a square shaped face and chin and at the end rounded it out to make it less rigid. Now that I have my base, I am going to refer to my second sketch I made of Donald. I googled an image of him and shaded in the general colors in their corresponding areas. I will reference this sketch for what colors to apply where. The first color I will be applying is the orange. Once again, you're going to want to work fast, which is why a sketch is very helpful. Don't be afraid of adding colors. If you add a little too much as I did in some areas, just take some more of the peachy shade you made for the base and blend it out. Donald tends to have two white circles around his eyes, so taking the white acrylic paint, I will be adding this where his eyes will go. The next color I will be taking is yellow. I will be applying this around the areas of his mouth, around the white circles on his eyes, and anywhere else on the photo I have assigned yellow. Next, I will be taking some red acrylic paint to help add more dimension. I will add this to the areas that are a more darker shade of orange on Donald's face. To finish off the base, I will now take the original peachy shade I made and blend everything out. Remember, you don't want to blend out too much as this will make your painting appear two dimensional. So blend with the light hand. Taking the peach shade, I added two ears and applied a little bit of color to help them match the face. After you are finished, let your painting fully dry before you go in with the black paint as this could lead to a mess. Referring back to my first sketch, I will now be adding the mouth, nose, and eye details. I will be using black acrylic paint for my details. I am doing this because if I make a mistake, it's easier to fix as opposed to something like a sharpie. First, I'm going to start off with the eyes. I'm going to make them appear squinted and angry. I'll be achieving this look by adding multiple black lines such as crow's feet on the side, a curved line both above and below the eye, as well as two black lines between where his eyebrows will go. Really try and curve the lines to get the angry appearance. Next, I will be adding the nose. I will just be making two black lines down his face, three half circles, and then filling in two smaller circles for his nostrils. Next, I will be doing his mouth, a key feature for this painting. I will be making sort of a cursive M for the top and a squared U shape for the bottom. I am also adding curved lines on both the sides of his mouth and below the mouth to give the illusion of a duck face. For more detail, I will be adding both a top and bottom row of teeth. To really make Donald's face pop, I will now outline his face as well as add a few squiggly lines for more detail on his ears. Taking some red paint, I will be filling in his lips and using some white paint, I will be filling in his teeth. Don't worry if you go a little outside the lines of the black paint, you can go over it again later. Taking some white paint, I will be filling in the whites of his eyes. Also, for a little more fun, I took some red paint and painted a tongue. The rest of the inside of his mouth will be painted black. Taking some yellow paint, I will paint on his eyebrows using multiple mini strokes. Now that I have added all the color, I will go back with my black paint and sharpen everything up. I 
I actually went back and mixed up all my paints to achieve this grayish shade and applied this over Donald's eyebrows to make them appear less flat. Now that the painting is completed, I am going to be taking my ultimate carving kit my brother got me, scoop out the insides, and glue on Donald's hair. Taking a black sharpie, I am going to make a circle on the top of my pumpkin just so I know exactly where to carve. Next, I'm going to take the carving knife and follow the black line. I highly recommend these carving knives. They are more precise, safe, and easier to use as opposed to regular kitchen knives. Now you're going to want to take out all the insides and place them in a bowl. While I was removing the insides, some of my painting got removed due to the liquids in the pumpkin. So I decided to take some Mod Podge to seal everything in place before applying the hair. Last but not least, after everything has dried down, I will take some more Mod Podge and apply it along Donald's head. And then taking the strands from the inside of the pumpkin, I will glue them down. And your Donald Trump pumpkin is complete! Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this Donald Trump inspired pumpkin. I'm honestly pretty happy how it turned out. I was a little nervous it wouldn't resemble a human being. It's not perfect, but neither is Donald. Honestly, it came out looking more like a baby because of the cheeks, which luckily he's not undocumented because his policies would have him in a cage. For more future videos, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social medias. All the links will be in the description box below. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!